and this is going to um, continue our involvement in our network, but it's also going to start uh, or continue to uh, develop our brand. And uh, while we have in previous um, iterations worked on making sure that we have a unified uh, message, making sure that we have a unified um, sort of uh, Twitter presence, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure that people know that we are also actively involved in current issues in psychology. So this is going to be uh, the assignment where we're going to demonstrate that we are current and we are going to tweet any two recent articles about any area of psychology that you might be interested in. So previously it was just uh, articles from the area of psychology that you might be passionate about, you might be interested in. Now we're going to make sure that it's recent, it's something that has come out recently and we're going to define that for this as something that came out this month. So some new article, new finding, uh, new contribution to psychology that came out in uh, November. So for example, uh, I am uh, currently uh, working on a few new uh, creative endeavors that are outside the realm of traditional psychology research. So it has been on my mind, what are some things that might make people engage in something new? So this would be an example of an article from psychology. It could be from uh, a mainstream uh, psychology blog, for example, Psychology Today. So 10 things that sparked pe people to make a major change. And this was posted uh, November 16th. So again, that's uh, within, uh, sometime within this month. Uh, also, um, in terms of uh, knowing about education, uh, brilliant philosophers and funny psychology instructors, what a data visualization tool tells us about how students see their professors. So they looked at how students describe uh, professors in different, uh, that teach different subjects, how they describe women professors versus male professors, what kind of uh, um, words they use and how do they, what kind of uh, sometimes biases do they bring to that uh, forefront. Again, as an educator, it's something that I would want to know. And again, it's something that is recent, a new uh, publication. So once again, any two articles that are recent, uh, you can, uh, one of the easiest ways to find this, uh, if you're having trouble, is to go to Google. Uh, just Google psychology and the area of your interest. So if it's developmental psychology, if it's psychology in the arts, uh, if it's clinical psychology, and then hit the news button and just take a look at what has been recently reported, what has made the news. That's a great way to find some of the more recent uh, things.